Yo, welcome back everybody. So in this video, basically I'm just gonna be talking about uh, my past couple of days experience with Unreal Mobile as I decided to give the carrier a second shot um, and just testing out its services. So I was able to get an account um, started up again. I only paid uh, one cent to actually activate it. And this is on the 14 day trial. So um, I would say if you guys want to give it a shot, definitely worth it. I mean, you're only gonna pay a penny to activate the phone. And it is activated on the CDMA side, so it is using Sprint's towers versus um, the GSM of Unreal Mobile. And for the reason why is because uh, the GSM version for Unreal Mobile relies on the application itself. And so I always find that to be a little bit weird if you have to do everything within the uh, Unreal Mobile application. Whereas on the CDMA side for Unreal Mobile, you can use a native dialer and a native SMS app. So I'm using Android Messages as my native as my text me my text message app and it's so far working great I only use the unreal mobile application itself just to kind of track my usage but other than that I've been using it for the past couple of days it's not my main device it's just you know a backup phone to use and I have actually have activated uh, my Moto G6 play on the unreal mobile service which is kind of weird because uh, Boost Mobile has their unlock policy where the phone has to be active for an entire year before they will even allow it to activate on another MVNO, much less even unlock the uh, SIM card. Now the SIM, now the SIM card is not unlocked basically, so I can't actually like throw this on Metro. However, I did see videos from Alex Zuniga, who actually unlocked his Boost Mobile Moto G6 Play and put it on Metro PCS. Um, so it can it can be done. I sent him an email to kind of find out, you know, what he did to unlock it. And um, so I'm waiting for that response back. And then if, if it's if it's something pretty much legit, I will show you guys how to unlock the Moto G6 Play. But in, nonetheless, it's actually running on Unreal Mobile. Um, and so it's actually been doing pretty good. Like I said, the CDMA side of it is actually pretty good. Um, you can use the native uh, dialer and um, Android messages for your text messages or whatever SMS uh, application you prefer to use. Uh, unlike the GSM model, you don't have to rely on the Unreal Mobile application itself. So I do have it right there. You guys can see I have the Unreal Mobile app right there, so you guys uh, can see that you use it to track basically your your uh, data usage and whatnot. Now their plans are pretty much um, easy. I'll go over them here so you guys uh, get a clear understanding of how the plans work. Okay, so um, let's just kind of start off from the very bottom here. Uh, so for Unreal Mobile to get one gigabyte of LTE and then unlimited 2G data basically um, with unlimited talk and text. So all their plans are unlimited talk and text. It's just the data part that fluctuates. Uh, the very base amount is one gigabyte and it's $10 a month. So you get paid $10 a month, you get one gig of data and unlimited um, 2G speeds afterwards. Now a step up from that is their two gigabyte plan. This is actually pretty good because I've seen um, other people talk about plan rates and whatnot, and like two gigs is like 20 bucks or something like that. Well, with Unreal Mobile, it's actually $15. So $15 a month gets you unlimited talk and text and then two gigabytes of LTE and unlimited 2G speeds. Um, a step up from that is the one that I'm currently on right now, which is a five gigabyte LTE plan. That one costs you $30. And then the uh, 10 gigabyte um, LTE plan is $40 a month. So the pricing is actually not bad at all whatsoever. And actually there's another one here. I just missed it. It's a uh, three gigabytes of LTE and that's for $20. So if you can compare something like this from Unreal Mobile to say Boost Mobile's uh, three gigabyte plan, which is uh, $35, if you're paying $15 less for the same amount of data and then um, unlimited 2G speed. So but there are a couple of things here that, you know, I did kind of take a look at and I was just like, okay, you know, um, like for instance, they have, um, with these plans, they have what's called speed boost. So it actually, um, speeds up the data that, you, you know, the, the data speeds. And so that's like an additional cost, which I think is kind of weird than the fact that you have to pay additional in order to make sure that you're having faster speeds versus just having normal LTE speeds. Uh, but nonetheless, you do have a couple of things here too. Like you do have access to a VPN, which is what I like. Um, Google Fi allows you to, um, have your, your, uh, your data connection encrypted so you have vpn with uh, google fi and i think the fact that unreal mobile allows that too um they do have data rollover so you can roll over the data that you don't use so if you are on a two gigabyte plan and you only use one gigabyte then the other gigabyte will roll over to your next month which means that you'll have three instead of two so that's actually pretty good and they also have ad blocker you have the ability to block ads and whatnot so that's all comes with the service itself 
Um, now I must say that data speeds have actually been pretty good. Um, I haven't had any slowdowns or anything like that that's really kind of crippled or hindered my usage with it. On top of that, voice quality is just phenomenally good for you know a company that is just basically what I call a tier two um, MVNO compared to like Boost Mobile, Metro, and Cricket. Those are top tier. But um, yeah, Unreal Mobile just seems to be doing pretty good. I haven't had any issues at all, no drop calls or nothing like that all around my city and even on the outskirts. So it's it's been holding up pretty much fine. Um, playing games and stuff like that on here that require data access has actually been really good. I haven't seen any issues with playing games at all whatsoever that would be caused by the data um, being sluggish or anything like that. So it's it's actually been pretty much top notch. Um, the only thing I forget with Unreal Mobile because I am so used to Google Fi right now is that with my Google Fi service anywhere that I go that has like you know Wi-Fi that is partnered with Google in order for Google Fi devices to automatically connect to, my phone will just immediately connect to it. Whereas I forget to turn on Wi-Fi if I want to use Wi-Fi in a certain area with um, Unreal Mobile. It doesn't have that you know smart switch to Wi-Fi or anything like that. So that's something that you know um, I'm getting used to again. But all in all, you know uh, I'm going to give my final thoughts here um, in the next week. After using it, I'm still continuing, still continuously using it. But I just wanted to give you guys an update of what I'm using right now, the reasons why, and I will give you guys a full rundown with Unreal Mobile. Um, I would say to anyone out there, you know, if you are not one that likes to use a specific application to govern your phone calls and your text message, then if you have like an old Boost Mobile device or Sprint device or Virgin Mobile device, then Unreal Mobile would be the one that I would say you know to activate that on. If you're gonna try with the uh, GSM SIM card that Unreal Mobile offers, just know that phone calls and texts are dependent on the Unreal Mobile application. It has not been separated to use the native dialer or the native SMS app that is on the device, which could be, you know, a frown upon from a lot of people. So anyways, guys, um, yeah, giving it another round. So this is Unreal Mobile round two. Let's find out how it actually holds up. Um, you guys have anything you guys want me, you know, want to know about Unreal Mobile? You guys can ask in the comment section of the video. I'll be more than happy to answer it. But until the uh, final review of Unreal Mobile, thanks so much for checking out my video today. And as always, I'll talk to you on the next one. Aloha.